experience been like here? You know, starting as a true freshman, obviously that's yeah. a rare thing around mm -hmm. here. And what, what has this been like for you? Uh, it's been pretty incredible. Um, it's been a great honor just to, just to be able to play at Boise State uh, University. And uh, I'm just excited to be here and just, you know, excited for the future. You, to, to, just to come in right away, and I know you came in with that wanting to compete mm. and able to get to get that job. What, what has that meant to you? And you go start at Florida State. I mean, mm. I don't know if that ever sets in your head just how, how unique that opportunity is. Um, it was an incredible honor. Um, it was definitely very exciting. Um, it was a great place to, to play. And uh, I just think as a unit, we prepared really well. And, and then obviously we won the game. So uh, it's a, definitely a moment that I'll always remember. So. How much was this the goal for you? You know, graduating high school early and, and coming in in the spring and stuff. I mean, to, to to win the job right away from day one. How, how much was that on your mind? Um, I mean, just just coming in and and just being uh, able to prepare with the unit was uh, just a great honor. Um, and for for me, uh, just being able to just be able to develop uh, under uh, Coach Hill and Coach Harris has, has been great for me. So just learn as much as I can from them, take it as much as I can. A couple of months into this, what have you learned about playing quarterback in college, and, and how has your game developed here over, over these last couple of months? Uh, just just getting used to just on the field, live bullets, I think has just been the biggest thing for me, just getting those live reps. When you look at your game through the first you know, seven games mm -hmm. that you've played, what do you think you've done the best? What's been, what have you been most pleased with in yourself? Um, just trying to do whatever I can for, for the team. I know that those guys do everything they can uh, to help us win the game, so I'm going to just do my best for them. I think if, I feel like if there's anything we know about you talk, by talking to your teammates, it's, it's that you're weird. Every time you <laughs> talk to them yeah. they, and ask them about you, they laugh and they, and they say that you're kind of weird. So what, what makes you weird and how does that play into your your, 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 your leadership style for that matter? I hope they said some nice, nice, <laughs> some nice things, man. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like um, just to bring passion and just play uh, for fun. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Uh, I look back to the days when I just played Pop Warner, and I think that that's the biggest thing that translates. It's just if you have fun every day, I think that um, it's going to um, just translate to all the other guys. So I just think just bringing that energy. We've seen day. a few examples of your physical running style, mm -hmm. especially with you know, coaches liking the quarterbacks to slide. You know, where does that come from? Has it always been part of your game, that physicality? Um, I think just, like I said earlier, just – doing whatever I can for this team. Uh, I know that every single one of my teammates is going to do whatever they can for us to win the game. So I'm going to do my best um, to just, just to help us win. Has Coach Harson talked to you about maybe getting down sliding a little bit? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, how hard is that, though? I mean, you, you have taken some pretty big hits this year. But obviously, like you said, you're trying to get the first and do whatever it takes. How do you kind of weigh that balance? Um, like I said, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help us win the game because I know the other guys are going to do that same, same thing. Can, can you walk us through that third and 15 play where you had the conversion? Um, third and 15, just dropping back, saw a lane, um, had to get to the sticks. Um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty much it, yeah. I mean, that was a run, but, but what you've been able to do on third down as a true freshman mm -hmm. so far has been pretty unbelievable. What, what, what is it about you know, how you're ingrained or how, how that is just taught here or whatever that's enabled you to be so good in those situations? Well, I think just the way we prepare. Obviously, you guys go out and see the money downs. Right. Um, it's it's harped on all the time. So I think just the way we prepare um, on every down, but especially those those money downs, those third downs, uh, is huge for us. So I think we've done a great job executing on third down. From the start of the season until now, where do you think you've improved most? Um, just being able to do better, making decisions uh, and execute. I think, like I said, just those light bullets are huge. With those live bullets, I, mean, I don't know if it's speed of the game or what, was there any adjustment that's been harder or what's been the, maybe the, the transition that has been the, the biggest thing for you? I mean, I think everything's been, been a lot tougher than just coming from high school. Um, but the coaches have done a great job, I think, just preparing us as a unit. Um, but just coming in, learning the offense um, was probably pretty tough for me. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't come in early, do you think you'd be in the position that you're in? I mean, how beneficial, beneficial was it that you graduated early and came in early? Uh, I think it helped out tremendously. Like I said, the uh, uh, guys just uh, helped me prepare as much as I could. They took me in um, as a brother, so I'm just happy to be here. Looking at your connection with Chase and some of the other quarterbacks, yeah. I mean, uh, how, how genuine is that? And we noticed, you know, after Chase scored, you were the first guy running out on the field to give him a hug. So. Uh, that's my big brother right there. Um, Chase, Jalen, Zach, they're all my brothers. Um, and I think it is very genuine. I mean, we prepare every single day. Um, in the weight room, on the field, in the film. Um, so I think that just 
all those hours spent together has just created just a unique bond. Oh. We were talking with Brian yesterday, and mm -hmm. he mentioned that um, in terms of your guys' competitiveness, you spend a lot of time in the same room together, yeah. and you don't want to let each other down. Like, mm -hmm. it's up to the coaches to decide who plays. So when, when you were named starter, I mean, how much more of a responsibility did it come to, you know, not let, not let anybody down, I guess? Well, Chase is amazing, and I think that whole unit is amazing, and whoever the starter is, they, they're always just helping prepare. Um, them and uh, and everybody is just trying to help each other out. So I think our goal is just to win as a unit. So I know there's not a lot of time outside of football and class, probably. But yeah. um, if you're not doing football or class, you know, what do you like to do? Uh, in the summer, um, I went river surfing at um, I think Whitewater Whitewater Park. I, t I tried that out. Um, when the snow hits, we'll probably go out and ski and stuff like that. So sort of a broader question: Why Boise State? Why not Boys State? I love this place. Um, I love the people here. It's so genuine. Um, it's a it's beautiful. I think it's one of the biggest growing cities in America, um, and I can just definitely see myself living here for the rest of. Your, uh, your family between the you know, situation with your dad and yeah. and your, your mom on t on TV cheering and, yeah. and your brother's names. It, yeah, it, it's come up a lot. So uh -huh. can you tell us a little about your family and, and sort of you know what role they played for you and um, obviously you know how how your situation with your dad affected you. Yeah. Your family. Um, so I love my family. Most five, uh, as you guys know, they got some, some crazy names. Um, that's how they are. They 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 have a incredible, unique energy, and I love them so much. And uh, I just think the way I was raised, um, you know, I just hope that my brothers and my sister can watch me and just um, just learn. You know, I, I try to be the best role model I can for them. So, were you were you, did you, ever, did you ever ask your parents why you didn't get a name like your brothers did? <laughs> well, you couldn't be Hawk I, to the Hank. I don't know. Some people call me Hawk. No, <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. It's been it's been uh, pretty awesome, you know, that my my brothers are, are getting some love. But I got a sister too. She's awesome, Ella. So. Uh, what's it been like for you here playing for a guy like Carson who played the position in college? And, and what, did, what, did, what has maybe he taught you about being a college quarterback? Uh, just being a professional. I think that he preaches that to the whole unit, and. Um, He's definitely just helped me just prepare uh, on all facets as a professional every day. So I mean, much has been made about the offensive line and, and mm -hmm. the protection. And when it, we talk to him, yeah. it, talks, it always comes back to communication. How does that process work and how is it getting better? Um, I think just every game we're just trying to get better and we're just trying to learn from our mistakes. So, um, yeah, communication is key, though. Hey, what have you been most impressed by when it comes to George Hawaii? Man, he's he's incredible. He's special, um, but he's he's a guy that has a great demeanor as well. Um, you talk to him, um, you know, he's just got that Polynesian energy, Polynesian vibe, laid back vibe to him. So he brings that every day, and then to see him on the field, kind of turn into that animal that he is, it's pretty incredible. With you, you mentioned preparation a lot, and mm -hmm. I know that was one of the things that they liked about you in terms of getting ready yeah. for this this summer. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, it seems like, I don't know, you're, a lot of your life is kind of built up to this opportunity. What, how important has preparation been, and how long has this been something that you've been working toward? Um, I mean, obviously the goal um, has just been able to just do whatever I can for this football team. But like I said, Coach Harris uh, just talks about being a professional, and I think that preparation is, is a big key to how you prepare um, and how you uh, are going out on the field. So as a unit, I think that... Just preparing is very, very important. How good of a shortstop were you growing up? Um, I love baseball. Um, probably need to use some of those tools out on the football field. A bit, <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'm kidding. I think we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pretty deep wide receiver core, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. How much have they helped throughout this whole thing? Guys like you know, John Hightower, yeah. AK, and all those guys. Uh, those guys have helped out tremendously. Um, their their production on the field, you know, shows um, especially on like those third downs, you know, just making some incredible grabs. Um, but it starts up front with the O line doing a great job, and then those receivers just making plays. You just got to get them the ball, and they're gonna make some happen. You seem like you're, you you kind of have a knack for kind of hanging on the ball and, and releasing it at the last second. So I mean, with, with with guys like that to throw to, I mean, does that encourage that? I guess knowing that if, if you can't hold on, that they might be able to go make a play for you. Uh. You know, I just have to continue to keep getting better. Um, but yeah, anytime I can try to get those guys a ball, I'm going to. So we obviously did hear about your dad's situation. Mm -hmm. you, you'd had to go back for a day or two, you know, during yeah. camp. And then we, the Florida State game was one of the first ones he had missed. Mm -hmm. uh, what 
you know, just you had a lot going on, obviously. So yeah. I guess how, how's he doing, and what was that? What, what's it been like for for you and the family to, to work through that? Uh, he's doing well. Um, he's doing really well. So yeah, that's all. Been able to drive the last last couple of games, right? He's been able to steal, yeah, still yeah, see he, a few of them. Yeah, he he went to this last San Jose game. He's doing he's doing well. He's doing a lot better. So it was a scary situation, but um, he's doing well now. So thank you. You go back to that Florida State game. I mean, you touched on it a little bit, but I mean. Um, Rough general fans of college football. Being yeah. on the road, 2,500 miles away from home, you know, down double digits to Florida State, mm-hmm. got Marvin Wilson lining up in front yeah. of me. Like, did you ever take a moment to soak all that in and realize, you know, just just the the, the situation you were in months after being in high school? Of course, yeah. It was. I mean, it, it was an incredible game. I think that just the, the way that we responded to adversity in the game was was incredible. Um, it was humid. It was hot and humid out there, and uh, just the way that we were on all three phases of the game, and, and just that ability to come back. I think that um, it really showed. Obviously, Hurst has talked a lot this year about uh, not having the consistency that, that you guys would like um, on offense, and kind of some droughts. Uh, what, what do you guys need to do to, to, to kind of find that consistency on offense? I think it just goes back to the way we prepare and then the way we execute. Um, you know, I think that every game we prepare the same. It's just the ability to go out and execute. A lot of road games recently and buys and mm-hmm. stuff. They have two home games in a row here. Uh, how excited are you guys? It's nothing like playing out on the blues, so um, it's going to be awesome for us. What, uh, what, what's this been like for you? Just to, you know, you, you quarterback at Boise State, you get a lot of attention. Whether you're in front of us or not, you, you get a lot of attention. Uh, what, what's it been like just sort of being in that role in this town? Um, I mean, it's an incredible honor um, just to be able to play quarterback at Boise State. And just the tr- tradition that uh, the quarterback position here has is uh, – it's an incredible honor. So, can, can you kind of feel that from you know from from the fans? I mean, before, during, after the games. I mean, they always love the, the new guys that yeah. come in, and you're a new guy and a starting quarterback. So I'm sure they, you know, you probably feel that from from course, the crowd. Yeah. yeah, of course. Like I said, uh, just being able to, being able to come back out here and play in front of them is is amazing because they're the best fans in the country. So you said earlier, why not Boise? But can you remember the moment that you knew Boise was the place for you, and what in that moment convinced you of that fact? Um. I just remember it was it was pretty early on for me, I want to say. Um, it was just a spot that uh, I wanted to be at. Uh, I think that just the way that they develop players is, is, a, is a big key. And, and like I said, the city is amazing. So. Did you grow up watching boys take football? Of course, football? of course, yeah. The, uh, I, was, I remember we were driving from my grandma's or something like that. She lives in Fresno, about five hours away from my house. And uh, I think we pulled off to a hotel to watch the Fiesta Bowl. Really? I remember, yeah, I specifically remember Statue of Liberty and just jumping up and going crazy. So, Boise State has uh, just been a place that I've always wanted to play, so. Did you have a favorite player growing up? Uh, Zabransky was, was pretty awesome. Just just watching him kind of remember, remembering like as I was getting into football, just, um, you know, the NCAA game, he was on that, so that was pretty awesome. Have you met him yet? I've met him a couple times. Okay, yeah, that's so. okay. You yeah. talked about the the way you were raised and want to be a role model for your brothers yeah. and sisters. What, what is it you try to you know show out there? I guess that that you know to, to be a good role model for them. Um, just never give up. Uh, through through anything, through any adversity, uh, just do your best and just stand up straight with your shoulders back and just do the best you can. When, when,